Let's look at how to do a uh, two-way analysis of variance using Minitab 17. Uh, to do this exercise, you need to open up the PowerPoint presentation that comes with the assignment and uh, go to slide number four, and you're going to see this table. Now, this is an embedded table, so to uh, open it, you simply double-click, and it will open as an Excel worksheet, and all of the cells will be collect, uh, selected. So now I'm going to press the Control key and the C key, Charlie key, that's going to copy all that information. Next, I'm going to go into Mini tab, and I'm going to put my cursor in cell C1, and I'm going to press the Control V key, as in Victor, and that's going to go ahead and copy all that information over. So I'm going to label the first uh, column is Temp, and now I want to um, bring that first label down and copy it five times, and I'll do the same with the medium temp label, and I'll do the same with the low temp label. So now every row is going to have the uh, temperature, the uh, cleanliness reading when we were at high pressure, cleanliness reading at low pressure, and the cleanliness reading at uh, uh, medium pressure and at low pressure. Now the problem we're going to have is that this is not the way Minitab wants to see that data. So what we're going to have to do is create separate columns, and one of these columns is going to be the temperature column. The other is going to be the pressure column, and the last one is going to be the cleanliness column. We have to put the data in a form that Minitab wants to see. So now I'm going to go to the data menu, and I'm going to say pick the the stack selection, go over to columns, and I want to stack the columns high pressure, medium pressure, and low pressure. So I'll select those columns, and I want these to go into, uh, I want the numbers of these columns to go into the worksheet for pressure uh, cleanliness, which are the numbers recorded in those columns, and I want to store the subscripts in the column that's labeled pressure. So now what I have are all of the high pressure data, 39, 30, 35, etc., all of the medium pressure data and all of the low pressure data are now in columns. Now what I want is I want to label the temperature columns. So what you see is that I have five high temperature, high pressure readings. That's these first five. I have five medium temperature high pressure readings, and I have five low temperature, high pressure readings. And I want to then put these temperatures in this column. So I want high five times, I want medium five times, and I want low five times. And I want to repeat that for the high pressure, the medium pressure, and the low pressure. So in Minitab, the way we do that is we go to the Calc menu, select Make Pattern Data, and then select Text Values. And I tell it I want to store the pattern data in the temperature column. I want the values high, medium, and low to each appear five times. And I want to list the entire sequence three times. And then I click OK, and Minitab will go ahead and create that pattern data and put it into the correct column. So now I want to go in and perform the two-way analysis of variance. So in Minitab, I'm going to go to the Stat menu, ANOVA, which stands for Analysis of Variance. And you see that in Minitab 17, there is no choice for two-way analysis of variance. Uh, there was in earlier versions, but not anymore. We can still do the two-way analysis of variance because it is a special case of a general linear model. So we're going to fit the general linear model. And what we'll do is tell them any time we want to analyze cleanliness as our response. You can see that you can do more than one response. And the factors we want to look at are temperature and pressure. And I'd also like to see the interaction of temperature and pressure. So to get that, I'm going to click the Model tab. And ManyTab will let me then uh, pick the variables whose interactions I want to investigate. And I'm going to look at interactions through order two. If I had three factors, I'd be able to go through order three. Um, 
And if I have three factors, I'd also be able to pick all three and get all the interactions to order two just by clicking the Add button. And you see that Minitab adds a term to the model, which is temperature star pressure. That means the interaction of temperature and pressure. So I'll click OK. The options, um, we're not going to do any transformations, but uh, Minitab certainly makes that easy if your data is very non-normally distributed. Um, ANOVA is not overly sensitive to non-normality, and we're going to just go ahead with the uh, data, raw data. I can also look at the uh, graphs, and I would like to see a normal probability plot of residuals. So I'd like to be sure that the residuals are at least, you know, somewhat normally distributed. So I'll pick that one. And the results. I don't want to see all the results. I just want to see the results that would correspond to a normal two-way analysis of variance. Um, it's easy for a black belt to get overwhelmed with all the statistics. We're not making you statisticians. We're just giving you a usable skill set. So pick uh, factor information, analysis of variance, and the model summary. And that's going to be all the um, basic information you need. Um, don't want to look at fits and diagnostics either. So we're going to look at just the residuals and assume if the model fits, we're good to go. So click OK and click OK again. And Minitab first shows me the normality plot. It doesn't give me a p-value, which I wish it did. Um, and we could save these residuals and do a more in-depth normal probability plot. But I'm going to say that these are reasonably normal considering the sample size especially, and uh, assume that I'm pretty pretty good to go. And if I click on the uh, session uh, folder, I can see the results of our analysis. And first of all, the factor information. This is good information to put into a report. And the analysis of variance table. Now looking at the p-value column, we see that uh, the p-value for temperature is 0.636. That's greater than 0.05, indicating the temperature is not a statistically significant factor. The uh, p-value for the pressure, um, for different pressures, is zero. And that is statistically meaningful. So we're going to have to look probably at, at charts to see which pressure readings give us the uh, best results. And the temperature-pressure interaction is also not uh, important or statistically meaningful. So we can drop that term. So basically, uh, the probably the best way to go would be to perform a one-way uh, analysis of variance with pressure, which is the only statistically significant result. The model summary gives us the standard error, uh, which is 5.067. And that's a standard deviation of the residuals. Uh, the R-squared values are around uh, 50%, and uh, R-square predicted is 31.9. Uh, R-square predicted, by the way, is uh, calculated by looking at R-squared for um, modeling all but one of the response combinations and then predicting that response combination with the model. So you see it's quite a bit lower, which indicates that as a predictive tool, uh, this model is fairly weak. So that's how you conduct two-way analysis of variance with uh, Minitab 17.